it is time to get a whole bunch of parts together and start putting them on our test plate. Now we already have the three motors hooked up. You're also going to want some shafts to hook some wheels and some gears onto this side. So the wheels are going to go over here. And you want your microcontroller kind of situated, you know, around here. I kind of put it in this little gap here a little bit. The orange USB cord that connects the microcontroller to the computer. You would want to get your limit switch. You would want to get your bumper switch. One of them. That's all we need. Because that's how we actually make things, program to make things happen. Um, you'll want a line tracker this is like a light meter that will do, do things when we set a trigger value and then this thing here is called a potentiometer and it's going to need a shaft in here and a little dial for us to turn it um, you want to screw these things down onto the plate don't screw them down too hard I mean, you don't want to crack the plastic but you want to get them down kind of secure. You can put them anywhere you wish. That doesn't really matter. Just you know, wherever the cords can go without getting too tangled and where other cords reach. Oh, you'll also want an LED because we're going to make a light light up. We also probably want an extension cable for our light, pretty much. And we will need the mic, the, I'm not even looking at them. We will need the motor controllers because only one motor can plug into a two-prong plug, because there's only one two-prong plug in the motors. The others need this three to two, kind of, the, the two to three kind of thing with the motor controller. So the motors will plug in on this side. It doesn't really matter which port you plug them into, because we're gonna tell, uh, set it up in the computer. And then on here, the top part of these, are for analog and let me pull these out all right here we go so this has two different parts it's got an analog section and a digital section digital means zero or one it's an on or an off kind of thing that's like a light that's also like a bumper switch and a limit switch it's either on or off now these other two the line tracker and the potentiometer those are analog because they have values that range from zero to about to four thousand i'm pretty sure i want to double check on those um so those two will get plugged into analog again doesn't matter which port and those two will get plugged into digital doesn't matter which port and also a light we're going to plug into digital um i tend to put like something in one and three and then like one three five just to give them some space between them um, easier to play with because we don't really need all those ports so start to screw things down plug things in and then we'll get back to you know programming this thing to make it do stuff